Hi, and thank you for visiting my channel. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow. Now let's get started. Roman Reigns and the Bloodline Solo Sokoa have waged war on Friday Night Smackdown, and only one man will eventually walk out as the tribal chief. Meanwhile, Zilafatu refused to acknowledge either one. Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa walked different paths in the past few months and the two are now trying to best each other to become the only tribal chief in the Stamford-based promotion. In an interview with Muscleman Malcolm, Zilafatu was asked who he acknowledges as his tribal chief. In the video, the rising Samoan star raised his finger but refused to take Roman Reigns or Solo Sokoa's name. Instead, he praised Waffle House. While he refused it here, Zilafatu has previously acknowledged Roman Reigns as his tribal chief. Real-life bloodline member Nia Jax on becoming the tribal chief instead of Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa earlier this year, the bloodline lost the gold, which it had for over three years around Roman Reigns' waist. The landscape completely shifted and the war for a new tribal chief kicked off on Friday Night Smackdown. However, one Bloodline member is ruling a division. Speaking on WWE Deutschland, WWE Women's Champion Nia Jax was asked if she would like to become the new Tribal Chief. The champion said she could on technicality as she's the only one with the gold. However, she thinks others can handle it and she doesn't have time to complete the entire ritual. I never thought about it that way. I mean, in our culture, I would have to go down to Samoa and get the traditional tata, tattoo, which I don't have the time for. I'll leave it up to the boys right now. They can handle that. They can handle the competition and whatnot. Maybe one day we can establish me as the tribal chief, Jack said. From 2035 to 2100 hours, Queen Nia is currently busy as the women's champion and has eyes on the women's crown jewel championship. In the quiet embrace of the Samoan Islands, where the waves whispered tales of ancient warriors and the winds carried the songs of ancestors, a gathering was underway. At the center of this family meeting was the revered family patriarch, a legendary figure known simply as Afa, who had devoted his life to preserving the legacy of the Anoa'i family. Today, however, the conversation took a different tone as the younger members of the bloodline sat around him, their expressions reflecting the tension brewing between two powerful figures within the family, Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa. While Alpha had long been a guiding force, it was now the time for the next generation to take their place within the bloodline. The discussion was intended to solidify their collective strength as a family, yet it was increasingly clear that a rift was forming, one that threatened to overshadow their unity. The table was set beneath a large palm tree, where sunlight filtered through the leaves, casting intricate patterns on the ground. The atmosphere was heavy with anticipation as the conversation shifted to the topic of leadership. Alpha, with a gaze that pierced through to the very soul of his kin, posed a question that sent ripples through the group. Who among you will stand as the true tribal chief? His voice resonated, rich with authority. The silence that followed was palpable. Each member of the bloodline knew the weight of that title, the legacy that accompanied it, and the expectations it carried. Roman Reigns, the current champion and the embodiment of the tribal chief, had led with an iron fist. He had redefined what it meant to hold that title, but not without controversy. His cousin, Solo Sokoa, had emerged as a fierce contender, showcasing an unparalleled ferocity in the ring that ignited admiration among their kin. Yet, that admiration also bred envy and rivalry. Uncle Alpha, said Jimmy USO, the elder twin, breaking the silence. Roman has been our leader for years. He's taken us to new heights in WWE. We can't ignore that. But what about Solo? Jay USO interjected, his voice rising with emotion. He's been stepping up. He's proven himself time and again. Why should we choose one over the other? As the debate intensified, one voice remained calm amidst the turmoil. It belonged to Jacob Fatu, another powerful member of the bloodline, whose imposing presence was matched only by his thoughtful demeanor. He leaned back in his chair, arms crossed, eyes fixed on Alpha. Uncle, what do you want us to do? Jacob asked, a hint of frustration creeping into his tone. Pick one? They're both our family. 
This isn't about just Roman or Solo, it's about our legacy. Afa nodded slowly, appreciating Jacob's perspective. I respect your loyalty to your brothers, but the family must have a leader. The tribal chief is more than just a title, it's a symbol of our heritage. You all must understand the weight of that responsibility. The air thickened with tension as the members of the bloodline pondered Afa's words. They were caught in a tug-of-war, with both Roman and Solo embodying different aspects of their heritage. One was a king ruling from a throne, while the other was a warrior rising from the shadows. Why can't we all lead together? Jacob proposed, his eyes shining with resolve. Each of us has something to bring to the table. Roman has the experience, Solo has the fire. Together, we can unify the bloodline. The others murmured in agreement but the doubt lingered. Afa's eyes sparkled with a mixture of pride and concern as he watched the younger generation grapple with the dynamics of power. Perhaps there is wisdom in your words, Afa mused. But leadership is not a position to be shared lightly. We must decide if the family can thrive under two chiefs or if we need a singular voice. At that moment, a sudden commotion interrupted their deliberations. The rumble of a motorcycle engine echoed from the distance, growing louder until it arrived at the clearing. The sound was unmistakable, and soon after, Roman Reigns appeared, his presence commanding attention as he stepped off his bike. The weight of his championship belt shimmered in the sunlight, a reminder of his dominance in the wrestling world. Uncle Alpha, what's going on? Roman asked, sensing the charged atmosphere. We were just discussing the future of our family, Offer replied, maintaining an air of authority. The choice of our next tribal chief. Roman's brow furrowed as he assessed the expressions of his family. You're all here, debating my place in the bloodline? I thought we were united. Roman, we're not questioning your leadership, Jay quickly responded. It's just. Solo has been stepping up. We're all proud of you but we need to talk about how we move forward. Solo's entrance into the conversation was inevitable. He had arrived earlier, quietly observing, but now he stepped forward, his intensity palpable. I didn't come to take your place, Roman. I came to support the family. But if it's a choice you want, I'm ready to prove myself. The tension was electric as the two cousins stood facing each other, the air thick with anticipation. Alpha watched intently, knowing that this was a pivotal moment for their family. Listen, Jacob said, stepping in before things could escalate. This isn't just about you two. It's about all of us. We're stronger together. We have a chance to redefine what being a tribal chief means. We could show the world that we're united, not divided. Roman looked at Jacob, then at Solo. He sensed the shift in the dynamics of their family and urged to rise above personal ambitions for the greater good. You're right, Jacob. We can't let our pride come between us. We need to honor our heritage, not fight over it. Solo nodded slowly, and the tension began to dissipate. I'm in. If you'll have me, I want to be part of this journey, not just as a competitor, but as your brother. Alpha smiled, a sense of relief washing over him. This is what the bloodline represents, strength, unity, and the ability to adapt. You are all powerful, but together you are unstoppable. As they began to discuss their vision for the future, the weight of legacy felt lighter. No longer were they torn between two leaders. They were a family, a bloodline forged in the fires of tradition, bound by respect and honor. In the heart of the Samoan Islands, under the sprawling palm trees and the watchful eyes of their ancestors, a new era was born. Together, they would redefine what it meant to be the tribal chief, embracing the legacy of the Anoa'i family as one cohesive unit. The past remained significant, but the future was theirs to shape, together.